some librarians uh, from two small towns, uh, Milan and Berlin Heights came to us and said, we have some money, we want to build a bookmobile for our communities. And so that's not really something we do every, uh, every day, but we do custom motorhomes. So we looked at it and we said, yeah, we can do that. And uh, so Travis took kind of the lead with Ian on designing the, uh, the, the shelves and the bookmobile and it's, it's really coming together. We caught you guys in, in here this morning. We got the, the floor ready. We're waiting for the floor to be delivered, but it's all insulated uh, and it's uh, ready for cabinets. And what are you guys trying to figure out this morning? We were just double checking uh, to see if we needed to make any alterations to the cabinets uh, to accept any of the electrical that has to run through the cabinet. And what, what kind of electrical? Now we have an aux battery that'll be charged when the engine's running from the main battery or the alternator. And uh, what other electrical uh, things are gonna be in here? Well, the, uh, the main thing is, is that all these shelves have their own set of RGB lighting. So that's why we needed the AUX battery to support all that extra power. So we're also trying to figure out where to mount the controllers for each individual one of RGB. And then it looks like we have overhead fans. They don't take too much power, but there are two fans in here, right? That, that'll take a little bit of aux power. But we made a, a decision this morning, I guess, to put the battery under the hood, the aux battery. So we'll make a bracket for that. I said something to Rob the other day about having uh, this be an IKEA assembly yeah. thing. He said, it's not that simple. <laughs> it's not that, it didn't come with instructions. <laughs> the instructions are all in my brain. Uh, and we had to make all these parts. How many of these assemblies uh, will, we, will we do? Well, we ultimately have seven cabinets, okay. but each cabinet yeah, has seven know. or five shelves, and you know, two, so 35 shelves. Uh, on the driver's side of the, the van, there'll be four of these sections. Uh, the other ones are slightly mm -hmm. bigger. Um, they'll be butted together and trimmed out with something that looks like this um, to clean it up. Um, so in the initial design, we needed to angle our shelves so the books wouldn't fall out every time you turn, turn the corner. Um, so that's, that's why these are tilted slightly back. Um, we also developed this bookend. Um, so the librarians, at the end of the day, when they, you know, check out their books and there's less books, they can, before they drive away, pinch them tight. You know, now we're rock solid. They won't, they can turn a corner at 60 miles an hour. <laughs> Books won't fall off. We put in these holes in the cabinets. They're gonna, the LEDs are gonna travel through the cabinets. Uh, one long strip, tuck up under the shelf, illuminate the face of the books. Um, and they'll all be on different circuit so if they want green down here red up here you know it, it should be pretty interesting so they're rgb lights. should be fun for the kids yeah and then this this is the material that we're going to put on the shelf bottoms that, that uh is uh, uh flush with the with the hardwood uh, yep. trim yep and then this has a little bit of uh, friction add, to add it. a little bit more resistance for the books to help keep them in place and then how about finish Finish. This is going to get a post-catalyzed um, conversion varnish on it to, to help uh, the finish be strong. It's going to be teal in color because the town's colors um, are teal and orange. These were milled on the... Uh, uh, what machine did we use for these? We milled them on the, the joiner, the planer, the table saw. Like I've been milling for two days straight on this. Um, I'm going to sand and that should be ready for primer today, hopefully. It's been a team effort. There's probably been from the librarians to the design team to me and Ian. Um, so yeah, it's been a real team effort. The arch, the arch was uh, an addition. Uh, it originally, the plan originally didn't have it, but I did a little, quick little sketch and everybody loved it. So it'll give it that uh, more library feel.
Yeah. Well, this is really exciting, and, uh, and you guys have done a great job on this. A, a cool team effort, and uh, we love doing different things. Yeah, I mean, we, every, every van we build is different, and uh, a little bit of a, of a community project, yep. and we're really excited about it. Mm-hmm.